Uh, I'm really impressed. I really am. I think Sean's a great coach. Ben, for you coming here to Denver, what allured you here the most in free agency while still you know, being able to test the market, see what other team situations would be? What, why did you ultimately choose Denver? Uh, I have a tremendous amount of respect for the offensive coaching staff they put here together. So, um, to be frank, that's the answer. Ben, you, I guess, didn't get any scholarship offers coming out of high school and that sort of thing. How has that kind of shaped you as a guy who's always had to work hard with what you get and you also didn't play a lot as an NFL rookie? How has that kind of shaped you kind of badly in your way? I've always been a guy that's come from under the radar, come from behind. No one's been expecting me, and I've took my opportunities and I've seized them. And that's, that's something I take a lot of pride in in my game. Talk about just how you started, um, you know, with the Ravens and, and how it, a bit of a slow starter, right? You didn't play much your uh, rookie year and how you came on to where you are now with that contract. Um, looking back on um, my NFL career, um, the first four years, you know, back then, I'd tell you how mad and upset I am. I'm not playing. I'm not getting the opportunity. I, you know, things aren't going how I want them. But standing right here in front of you all, um, it worked out exactly how it was supposed to. So I'm happy it ended up working out how it ended, it ended up. And when, you're, when you don't have the pads on right now as an offensive line, how do you use these OTA practices to, to get better at Yeah, that's a good question. Um, it's hard when we're just out there in jerseys because, you know, there's not pads, there's nothing to grab onto, there's nothing to latch onto. So, you know, you just focus on your personal technique and you got to know what, what's going to work in the fall. Going back to your time in Baltimore, you know what it's like to be part of an offense that really establishes a, a ground game. What are the traits that make an offense in terms of running the ball? What do you guys need to do in order to be one of the top units this year? you got to have grit. you got to care. You've a... Uh... Got to know Quinn Miners a little bit. Obviously, he's playing on the other side from you. What are your early impressions of him as a guy just going into his third year? I have a lot of respect for his game. Quinn has a high ceiling, and he has a lot of potential. There's uh, Oklahoma players all over the league, but how nice to come here and have three or four. But, uh, and do you have a, did you have a previous relationship with any of the, the guys that are here? Yeah, for sure. I did. Um, Nick Benito and DT, they were both guys I played with at Oklahoma. They were both on the scout team defense. They were younger guys. They came in. I was in year three or four. So I have, a, I have a really good relationship with those guys, and it's fun having a connection on the other side of the ball already. Off day in Colorado, what would you be doing? I'm a homebody. I hang out at the house and relax. What are your, what are your impressions of uh, Garrett Bowles, and how's the chemistry coming along between you two? Oh, Garrett, I love Garrett. I'm excited to work with him. Um, we're going to get after it, and we're, gonna, we're looking forward to it. Ben, you mentioned having a lot of respect for the offensive coaching staff that got put together here. Sean just talked up there about how guards are so important for what, what they do. What do you like most about what, what's getting installed here? Um, going back to the previous question on why Denver was the right spot, um, in you saying Sean Payton um, always valuing guards, that's something I knew coming in here. And so that, um, that obviously influenced my decision. Um, what was the question you asked, though? I'm sorry. What do, you, what do you like about the offense? Because you mentioned really appreciate the coaching. Week two, um, I don't have an answer for that question yet. What about having a guy like Zach Street who played for a long time? I mean, Mike told us last week he played his exact position, but knows the offense at this. So. There's so much insights into the game from having a coach that has played the game, especially for 12 years, that a coach that hasn't played in the NFL um, – um, there's certain perspectives of the game. There's certain things. There's certain stuff that it's really good to have a, that perspective from him. Well, how much is it heightened by the fact that you played in this offense for Sean? For some oh, time? for sure, it helps a tremendous amount. Sean, how, how would you kind of describe your personality? Most people think of you as a low-key guy, doesn't let you the limelight or what have you. How would you describe your personality? That sounds about right. That's, you hit it on the nose. <laughs> Do you uh, <laughs> like words? So I don't have to quote myself. <laughs> um, Um, do you mind repeating the question? Sorry. Are you a, a low-key guy that doesn't really need the line line? I'm a low-key guy, you know. I, <laughs> I don't care. I, I don't care. I don't get on social media to post or anything. Uh, you know, I'm just here to do my job. Is the uncommon uh, offensive line thing or a team thing? Team thing. Team thing for sure. And what does it mean by what's behind it? It means, um, you know, winning – Winning football in the National Football League is uncommon. It's hard to do. That's why there's not a lot of winners. There's, there's only one Super Bowl champ. Um, 
it starts with winning, and that's an uncommon thing, and that's exactly what we're trying to be. Sean has talked a lot about culture. So far, what have you seen in terms of the culture manifesting itself in the way you're trying to build? That's a hard question for me to ask, coming, um, being new this year. If I was here last year, and then I could tell you kind of what's changed, but, you know, we're still trying to figure out our culture, so I don't have a good answer for that. How's it going just being around Russ and him in the huddle and meeting him and all that? Great. He's a tremendous leader. Looking forward to working with him. Ben, we're kind of happy oh. in your estimation that the Ravens didn't end up bringing you back. I mean, why, why didn't you end up getting back there? I don't think they could afford me. <laughs> when you say you knew Sean valued guards, is that uncommon <laughs> around the league? Is, is that not the norm? Um, he looks at your position? I, I, yeah, that, that's uncommon. Yeah. Thanks, man. Thanks, Appreciate man. you guys. Thank you very much.